Mm-hmm. Today I want to do an experiment involving steaks. Now, whether it is you're going to a restaurant or preparing it at home, you will typically find people having the same general approach to seasoning and preparing steaks here that you will find consistent across the world, which is, you know, a little salt and a black pepper to season the steak, probably a little clove or garlic in the pan with some rosemary or thyme. And yeah, that is the basic approach across the board. So the approach that I have for this stew beef steak is one, seasoning it the regular way with salt and black pepper, cooking it off and then building a stew sauce, similar to how you would do like a mushroom sauce. And the second way is I'm gonna make a stew spice rub, dry rub for the other steak, grill it off, and then kind of compare it and see the differences that we get and which one might be the preferred method. And a quick word on the steaks here, as you can see, it have a little discoloration going on on the steaks and that's perfectly fine. What happened is I had it in the fridge, I'm just chilling, I didn't put it in the freezer because I kind of don't like to put meat into the freezer and then defrost it. So I kept it chilled and this little discoloration that you're seeing here is a lack of oxygen, but the steak is still good. All you have to do is smell it as I did and it is still smelling as fresh as ever. So I know that the steak is good to go. It could cook and it'll be perfectly fine for consumption. And to prepare our first steak, we're following the same protocols as we would do with regular steak and that is have it sitting out at room temperature. You don't want to prepare the steak cold Pat it dry, and then we're going in to season with salt and black pepper. A bit of black pepper. Flip it over. Add the salt. Black pepper. So now that the steak is seasoned, let's grill it. All right, so into our hot pan, I'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. Now we're gonna add our steak, and this steak is about an inch in thickness, so it'll take about a minute to cook on each side. I just wanna leave it at this point. Don't move it around, just let it do its thing. So about a minute has passed, just gonna flip this. Let this cook for another minute on this side. All right, so a minute has passed. So I'm just going to remove this. I'm going to set it aside and let it rest. And while it's resting, let's make our stew sauce one time. All right, to build the stew sauce, we're going in with the brown sugar. I want this to sort of caramelize just as you would do in regular stew. And as the sugar starts to caramelize, now you wanna add the onions, add in garlic, some mushrooms, salt, black pepper, paprika, coriander, and clove powder. Give that a stir. Add in a few sprigs of thyme, some ruku, coconut milk, and of course, bay leaf is bay, must have a little bay leaf. And you're gonna let this cook for about five minutes or so until it reduces and all those flavors come together. All right, so five minutes later, and we're looking good. Sauce reduced and it's thickened. We have a nice brown stew color going on here. Tasted it and the flavor's on point. So I'm just gonna switch this off now. And we're gonna plate it up. All right, time to slice up the steak for plating. Just 
gonna cut it down like this. Alright, to plate this up, just laying some of the sauce down. Drizzle some of the sauce on top. And here we have it, our steak in stew beef mushroom sauce. I'm just gonna try it one time. Why not, right? Let's get a bit of that sauce. Now, obviously, it don't taste like a stew beef that you had cooking for like two hours or three hours or that kind of thing. But it definitely giving you the stew beef flavor, but with the textures and things of steak, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. If I go to a restaurant and see this on the menu, I definitely would buy it. This tasting real good. Here yeah, now, steak with just regular mushroom sauce and thing. Mm -mm. No comparison. This, a million times better. A million times. Real flavor. Mm -hmm. So as I mentioned, the stew spice rub is nothing complicated. It's just, you know, some brown sugar and some coriander. Scotch bonnet pepper powder. And again, you could use chili powder if you don't have this. Some clove powder. I love to use clove in a making beef. Paprika. Black pepper. And some salt. I'm just gonna mix this together. And right here we have our stew spice blend for our steak. All right, so for our stew beef dry rub, I want to form a real nice crust on this steak. So I apply a little bit of vegetable oil directly to the steak. And I apply that on both sides. I'm now sprinkling our stew beef dry rub onto the steak. Pat it in. So now that we have a nice coating going on on this steak with our stew spice rub, we are going to cook it off a minute on each side. So it's going to place the steak down. And we're going to let this cook a minute on each side. So what I'm hoping to happen here is that the brown sugar that we added to the dry rub is going to caramelize and we're going to get a nice kind of stew beef crust on the steak. We'll see how it goes. All right, so a minute has passed. So I'm going to flip this. So as you can see, the brown sugar gives it a very dark uh, crust. Hopefully it's not burnt, but when we taste it, we'll know for sure. All right, so a minute has passed on this side now. So we're just gonna remove this from the pan and allow it to rest for five minutes before we slice it up. All right, so this is our steak with the stew beef spice rub. Just gonna slice it up. And it's going in for a taste one time. Oh wow, mm. this is unexpected. This is an unexpected result. Believe it or not, the beef here, compared to the next one, have way more flavor. I guess because the rub kind of penetrate the meat, you have the flavor kind of permeating not just on the crust, but actually, you're getting the flavor actually in the meat itself. Wow. 
and you'll caramelization of the brown sugar, you're definitely getting that stewy flavor. Mmm, yeah man. I ain't gonna lie to tell you. This, mm-hmm. I can't stop eating it. This is real flavor. Real delicious. Wow. Mm-hmm. Here now. Yeah. This was a proper, proper experiment. Here now. Angolai. This experiment. Mm-hmm. 10 out of 10. Will recommend. Either way. If you want it this way. Where it's, you know, real flavor in the beef itself. Perfect. You could go for that. If you want it the other way where you do the beef traditional steak and then have the stew sauce, all that is good too. And if you want to go real over the top, you could go for this application and still do the stew sauce. Yeah? It could only get better. The only thing to try now is a curry beef steak. If all want to see me try that, let me know down in the comments. But yeah, this one, mm-hmm. This one is one to try. If you like steak and you like stew beef, this definitely is a recipe to try. As usual, the full recipe with all the ingredients and the measurements will be posted to the website. So check out the video description for a link to that. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please take a moment to do so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and give it a share. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hmm.